since I've had a video up, I do have a really, 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 really good reason and I will tell you. I got a little haul of some of the stuff that I got on holiday, but quickly I'll tell you the story as to what happened on holiday. It was a nightmare. You know I always ramble on, but I'm going to try and do this super, super, super quick for you and tell you the story. Basically, went on holiday with my aunt and uncle and my two children and... I'm stuck already. <laughs> Hold on. Right, yeah. So I went on holiday. As you know, I've mentioned before that I have a sore back. My back was sore when we went on holiday. It was a little bit sorter than normal and it kept going into spasm and then it would take ages to kind of get, this is not going to be short at all. I realise as I'm talking, I'm not telling this in a short way. I'll try better to tell this in a shorter version. Basically, back sore quite a lot of the holiday. Ended up getting really, really bad. Ended up being stuck in bed. Wasn't able to even get ready for bed. I was like lying in bed with my clothes on. I had been lying there all day. I was in agony. Lay down to go to sleep at night, still with the clothes on because I couldn't even get up to get my jammies on. And it proceeded to get worse throughout the night. I was lying in bed for about six hours. And at about five o'clock in the morning, I the muscle spasm was so bad. It, would, like, it went through my back and into my stomach. It was just, I've never been in so much pain in my entire life. I can honestly say never, child, like nothing was as bad as the pain that I was in. Um, my aunt and I, I had to shout for help because I was panicking because I couldn't breathe. And my uncle came in and phoned an ambulance. The ambulance um, came out, two paramedics came out and they proceeded to give me gas in the air, which I think we thought was going to release the muscle spasm and that would be it. But it was not that easy. It could not be that easy, not with me. So... Yeah, they gave me gas in there for 30 minutes. Um, they gave it for 20 minutes and said, I'm, we're really sorry, we're going to have to take you to the hospital. I said, no, can we just try more? I really didn't want to leave the kids. Not that I was leaving them by themselves, like my aunt and uncle was there, but I just didn't want them being upset, seeing me getting taken away and stuff. It was just horrible. But I was in so much pain as well. So they just scrapped the whole, this is going to be a short story because it's not, but I'll try and not make it as long as I sometimes do. Um, yeah, so basically they, come in, they tried for another 10 minutes, so for 30 minutes I was getting gas in the air. I used an entire canister of gas in the air. It didn't take the spasm away at all. I was still in absolute agony and was kind of panicking. They said, we're, so we're going to have to call someone else in, we're going to have to give you an injection of morphine and then we're going to have to take you to the hospital. So they gave me the morphine. It didn't take the pain away at all. It did, however, make me feel really, really spaced and horrible. I did not like that feeling. Between that and then the gas in the air, I just, it was like coming in and out of reality. It was horrible. So I got in the ambulance, got to the hospital, still the muscle spasm didn't go away. So they gave me diazepam and diplofenic and cocodamol. That didn't take it away. They gave me a, a, another thing of oral morphine. That still didn't take it away. They gave me another injection of morphine. That didn't take it away. They gave me more diazepam, blah, 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 several hours later. And this is probably too much information, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because you're my friends and I've missed you. And yeah, they I realised that I had, they realised that I hadn't been, my stomach was quite swollen. I didn't really think about it at the time, but they realised that I hadn't been to the toilet for quite some time and I was unable to go to the toilet. I don't know, like the spasm had just like, taken hold and when they tried to get me to go to the bathroom this really is too much information I can hear it out loud never mind but yeah I couldn't go to the bathroom so they had to put a catheter in which was lovely and so yeah just a really really horrible experience eventually eased off a little bit but as soon as I went to try and stand up to go into the wheelchair to get into the car I vomited and for 24 hours after that I proceeded to vomit and of course like as you're like your stomach muscles are tensing and your back muscles are tensing so that was setting my back off again I was literally lying in the bed for 24 hours being sick and it was just pure blood that was coming up because I had an identity it was awful so I lost quite a bit of weight my face is a bit thin and I'm a bit it's not nice but we're, I'm working on it I'm working on putting the weight back on but Yes, that's why I haven't been here. So it was a pretty good excuse. And I just felt really rotten after it, to be honest with you. Even when my back had like eased off and I was able to move about a bit more. That, all those like drugs and everything they give you, they make you feel really like down and depressed. And to be honest with you, I've just not felt myself. But I'm up, I'm dressed, I've got makeup on, nails painted. I, like I, when I was out, I didn't moisturise. I didn't, I didn't even brush my teeth. Like I hadn't brushed my teeth for days. I hadn't, nothing. I was an absolute mess. So I'm a little bit more with it and I'm back with you guys. And when we went on holiday at first, I was able to get into like maybe like one shop, two shops, and then I'd be like, no, I'm going to have to go back. And then I would sit and then I would have to sit for hours and then it would ease off. But I did manage to get into a couple of shops. I don't have anything majorly exciting, but I thought I would share with you what I got just to make up for the fact that it's been so long. And I had planned on doing 
like a whole load of Halloween videos but it's kind of too late but I am going to try I love Halloween like love Halloween it's my favourite so I am going to try and get some sort of Halloween video for you for Halloween because I don't want it to go by and not do something so I'm going to try really really quickly in fact maybe once I finish filming this I'll film some little things and try and I'll try and get a Halloween video up for you so I'll share with you oh another thing the last time I said this and it seems like it's a family thing remember I said that my cousin was doing YouTube well now my daughter has started doing YouTube it really is like a family thing now and I was just wondering if you could please possibly go and check out her channel just like just to watch her videos get her views up or something she's been doing it for a couple of weeks and she's only got two subscribers and I think she's feeling like she's really enjoying doing it but I think she's feeling like a little bit disheartened because you know she doesn't have a lot of subscribers and stuff so if you guys could go and check it out I would be really really grateful it would mean so much to me because she's my baby and see when we were on holiday I cannot tell she's 13 her name's Davina in case I haven't mentioned that my guys will probably know that already but she's just she's she's very straight spoken you'll notice that in her videos if you watch them she's very like she's not I would say I'm more like a, she's a more to the point person I'm more like warm my airy fairy lovely and she's like I'm like oh well, let's make everything lovely and nice and she's like oh let's just tell it how it is that's what she's like as a person but so we're completely different but she really is a lovely girl and when we were on holiday she looked after me so so much I'm just looking at the time six minutes six and a half minutes just to tell you this story of that story and then this and I said it would be a quick intro but anyway it's been so long yes so if you could go and check it out I would really really appreciate it her username is or YouTube name is the the specky vegan and I'll put I'll Put the name here and I'll also put a link for it below that will take you straight to her channel so if you could check it out for me I would be really really grateful because she's just a wee darling and she looked after me so well when we were on holiday she was really she just she's a lovely lovely girl anyway I'll get right into the things I got first thing I got was this Yankee Candle it's the Yankee Candle little oil burner thing you put your little tea light in here and then your little oil burner here and it's like the little jack-o-lantern pumpkin thing I just thought this was super cute they had a couple of other Yankee Candle things and I normally like the Yankee Candle things but this is the only one they had that I liked like I said I was only sort of very quickly in and out of some shops so I didn't get to really like look a whole load of stuff but I absolutely love Halloween so I had to pick up, up something Halloweeny and this was I'm hoping the prices are on the stuff because I can't really remember what they were and I've literally taken them out of a bag dumped them into a basket and it's sitting at the side of me so it's all a little bit unorganized but I just really wanted to film this and get it up for you because I know there's been people asking for me and I just felt really really bad about not being with you guys and I missed you so this was 9 99 for that which is kind of pricey but you know Yankee Candles always a little bit dearer and to go with that I bought this it's the Yankee Candle candy corn and it's the the light is shining really bad I'm actually not using any lights I've literally got the light coming in from outside but it's a pretty dull day it's a little bit like rainy and drizzly so I don't know how good the light is but it's kind of shining a little bit weird yeah ca Yankee Candle candy corn and this smells really really nice like it smells like you would expect it to smell like really really sweet I also use the Witch's Brew one but I had quite a few of them from last year I still got them like the little oil burners and stuff does anybody else have any Halloween scents that they really like like that's literally the only two I know the Yankee Candle Witch's Brew and the Candy Corn one is anybody else get any favourites or I don't not even from Yankee Candle but like anywhere that's I don't know like nice Halloween -y type smells I'd like something a bit different I like the I just said it Witch's Brew one it's a little bit like spicier it smells a little bit don't know it's got a kind of spicy kind of smell to it and I do like it but I like this for a sort of sweet smell and I thought the orange would go nice when that was burning in there so got that I can't remember how much this was like a couple of pound or something I think so got that and the next thing I got is not going to look like much to show you but I'm not joking when I tell you this is so soft this feels like it's made out of puppies or something it's so so soft I couldn't resist it it's a tracksuit I know it's a great tracksuit really doesn't look like anything fancy but it just looks like it would be so comfortable I've not actually worn it yet it's still got the tags on it up until just like yesterday or something I was still wearing like jammies and stuff I just have felt rotten but feeling better but yes I thought this would be super comfortable this was kind of pricey this is from the shop Peacocks we used to have one of these in our local shopping centre like years and years ago but we don't have it now but I know some places still have them so anyway this is from Peacocks and this is £14 for 
I've got the bottoms to go with it. I'll show you them in a minute. This is £14 for this. It's literally just a hoodie top. Got this one in a size 12 and I got the bottoms, I'm sure, in a size 10. Just because I don't like hoodies that are like tight and restrictive. I like them like to be baggy and comfy the way they're meant to be. Like yeah it doesn't look like anything it really doesn't but honestly it is so soft i don't know if you can see the material it is so soft i love it i love soft stuff so i got that it's got the hood in the back and i thought it'll be comfy just for lounging about in and there's the bottoms on them i didn't get the bottoms in the swell just because i didn't want them like falling down at the waist they just look like that they do tie in at the ankle i usually prefer the ones that don't tie in at the ankle but I couldn't resist them just based on how soft they are and they are, look, if I show you like this, they are so stretchy, the material is so, so stretchy and I think, yep, yeah, it's got little pockets on the bum like that, nothing fancy and I'm sure these were £14 as well, let me see, it didn't like come as I said, the top was £14 and the bottom was £14, which is £28 for a tracksuit and a shot like Primark, not Primark, Peacocks, which I thought was kind of pricey but it was so soft and I was on holiday, I couldn't resist it. And also from Peacocks, I keep going to say Primark, also from Peacocks is these, they say soft touch, these are pyjamas and these were, well, let me see, the bottoms were £9, I got these in the size 10 to 12, I like my jammies kind of roomy and these are nice and stretchy and again these are really soft, different kind of soft material to that one but really really soft and they've got the stars all over them and my daughter Davina, she has started this thing where she likes us to have matching jammies. I don't know what where this has came from or wh what's happened. We both spotted a pair of jammies in a shop. I think it was like Morrison's a couple of weeks ago. And she said, oh, mum, can we... I said, right, no, you, you get them. If you like them, you get them. She said, no, you, you like them first. She said, mum, can we both get them, please? Can we both get them and be the same? So it started with that. And now I think we've got... I think we're on to like our third pair of jammies. I think this is our third ones that are the same. So since then, I think we've got kind of Christmassy ones and then these ones. But it's the top that I really like. Are these these tie and yeah these have got like this sort of taper done at the ankle and super soft this is the top that goes with it this was nine pound for the top as well there's like little bits of fluff flying around my face where am i it says soft touch on it again it really is soft i like this now okay you can settle an argument for me this is probably not the best example of this but you know the tops that no this is not the best example but you know the tops that go like this that will have like the pattern in there and then it's usually like a different colored sleeve like that like if i show you that like that right and then it's usually got the different colored sleeve this makes no sense hold on right so it looks like that and then it's got like the different colored sleeve that sort of comes across like that i call that a baseball top i said this to mark the other day he was saying oh what do you want for christmas and i was giving him some suggestions i said oh i really like, like casual like baseball tops i'd like a couple of them and he said, and then we, where were we? I think we were, I can't remember. We saw them somewhere and I said, oh, like that. I said, that's not a baseball top. I said, that is a baseball top. And we had an argument as to what or was not a baseball top. So is that, when it's like that, with the different, is that a baseball top? I don't know. You tell me. Settle it. Leave me a comment and settle an argument because he was adamant. He was actually kind of laughing at me, which was a little bit cheeky. So yeah, anyway, there's this. It's actually plain black on the back but so super soft and i like the starry design on it it's nice next thing was from I'm sure this was from h m no this was from new look and this was this was on sale you know like a bargain this was 14.99 and it was reduced down to seven pounds and it is just this like combat style sweatshirt super super stretchy it's actually in a really really light material it's almost kind of sheer i think i'd have to wear like a little black vest top or something underneath it but it's just in all these gray kind of colors i just really liked it i see a lot of people wearing these with the like tracksuit leggingy type bottoms that go with it they didn't have any leggingy bottoms that go with it I don't know that I would want to wear them like all together as a set. I don't know. I think this would be nice for like a pair of jeans or something. I really like sweatshirt things, so picked that up and really liked it. Like I said, not worn anything because I've been in my jammies the whole time. Next thing I got is this, and I'm just looking at it now, and it is literally in a creased mess. But look, super prepared. I bought a coat hanger because I thought this would be so much easier to show you on a coat hanger than me trying to pull up. Up. let me see this is a size 8 I tried it on and it does fit this was 19.99 and it was reduced to 10 pounds again from new look it is in a creased mess and it looks like absolutely nothing look like it just looks like a big bit of material it is a blazer it's 
I would say, I would call this colour like a blush pink colour. It's like really, really pale sort of faded pink. It's got the little turn up at the sleeve here, but it is, although it's a blazer, it's in a sweatshirt material. Like it's that, it's stretchy, but sweatshirt material. And this is perfect for me. I absolutely love blazers and I absolutely love sweatshirts. So this just fit perfect. Just really bad job of trying to show you that. Really, really bad job. But it's cute. I tried it on and it's cute. And it's got the little like split at the back. Really just awful job of showing you that. I don't know if you can see it at all, but trust me, it's nice on. I like it. So I've got that. And the next thing I got, I think we're just a few little things. Oh, another pair of jammies I got. It's not actually complete jammies. It is jammy bottoms. They didn't have the jammy top to go with it, but I couldn't resist this. I have got a thing for clouds. See like rainbows and clouds i absolutely love anything with this like blue color and the clouds on it especially when the little clouds have got like little cute smiley faces like this i just thought that was absolutely adorable so i got this it's got the pink waistband on it and it says sweet dreams looks like this um yeah just wide leg jammy bottoms i don't know if the price is still on them yes it is these were size 10 to 12 and these were eight pounds for the bottoms couldn't resist it, absolutely love them. So got them, did I say they were from Peacocks? These were from Peacocks as well. Okay, next thing, oh, and to go with them, my daughter, when she was out many times without me, I felt so bad because I really didn't get to spend like proper time with the kids because I was like stuck in bed and stuff. But while she was out with my aunt and uncle, she spotted these for me and she got them because she thought they would go with the cloud jammies that I got. And they're these socks. They come in a pack of three. One pair is like lilac with little pleats on it and the other pair is like lilac, I think, and silver and pink polka dots. But she got me them because these ones here are like my little cloud jammies. they got little stars and I don't know if you can see the clouds on that. There we go. Little cloud faces on it like that. So she got them to go with my jammies for me. And oh, I'm out of breath. And next thing I got was these. These were £2.49 and these were from New Look. And they're these pumpkin socks. They're like glittery material, which is normally quite jaggy. These are not the softest socks in the world. Like I wouldn't want to be wearing these every day. But I thought these would be cute to wear for Halloween. Where actually this is like Saturday night. This is not Saturday night. This is Saturday. And then tonight, like, so Saturday night, we're going to do our Halloween movie night and have, like, our Halloween night. Because if we do it on Halloween, just the door will get in chat. We trick our teeth every minute and we won't get a minute. So we're going to do our movie night tonight. So I might wear these for that or I might keep them for Halloween. I don't know. But they're just glittery. And so, like, each sock is only half a pumpkin. So when you put your feet together, it makes the whole little pumpkin face like that. I thought they were cute. And I've got the kids some Halloween stuff and some Halloween socks and stuff like that. I will share that in the Halloween video with me. Oh, I'm breaking something. This I got at, there was a little shop. It's like a little farm shop type thing. And it's got like a gift shop in it. And the stuff they sell in it is so, so lovely. And I picked up this and I just fell in love with it. Probably doesn't look like much, but I I don't know why, I just really, really, really like this. I think, this doesn't have the price on it, I think this was £8.99 or £8.50, round about the £8 kind of mark. I'm pretty sure it was £8.50 actually now that I've said that. I think it might have been £8.50, but it's just lovely. It doesn't have a brand or anything like that on it. It was from the little farm shop. The reason I like this is a scarf, basically. Did I say that? I just like waving it about like, yeah, let's talk about this. I'll not tell you what it is. It's a scarf, but it's quite a wide scarf, like, pashmina type size and the reason I liked it is because it looks like denim like a really really it's almost like see-through it's quite light but it's like looks like denim like unfinished day denim I really like that I thought this would go with so much stuff and I, the reason I like this there's a lot of nice like woolly ones and stuff but I went with this one because I thought this could be an all year round scarf like you could put it on just now just have it underneath a jacket or whatever but you could also wear this in the summer just like you know with a t-shirt or whatever and just have it on in the summer because it is definitely light enough I don't know if you can see that it's like it's quite sheer but I don't know I really liked it and I really like the pattern on it it's like blue with the, like the off-white but at some angles I don't know if it's going to come across it's got a kind of pinky tinge to it like almost like you've put it in the washroom with like a red sock or something and it just gives it that kind of pinky tinge but I like that so got that next thing I got was from another little it was like a garden centre that had a little cafe gift shop all that sort of stuff and I picked this up from there it's called Norfolk Lavender I don't know if that's the name is that the name of the company I think it is Norfolk Lavender 
and oh wait, I'll show you this. I've never heard of it before and I've never used anything from this product, from this product, from this brand. This was £4.50 and let me see, we'll have a little smell of it. Oh, it smells really nice. I can definitely smell the lavender in it. Oh, and I got some in my nose every time. It is really nice. It's not overly scented though, like it's not a really, really strong smell. It says, um, let me see, water lily and lavender uplifting body souffle, olive water, olive water lily and lavender. That's what it is, olive water lily and lavender. It is a nice smell, but a very subtle smell. So looking forward to using that and now that I'm up and about and can actually moisturize and, you know, wash myself and just do basic things. Other thing I got, I don't know why this is in here actually. This was, should have been in with like my toiletry type stuff. Picked this up from Sainsbury's. It's Little Ones Baby uh, Moisturising Baby Soap. It's basically just baby soap. I think it's like 50 pence or something. But what sold me in this is I love the smell of baby soap. I don't know if anybody else, sorry, itchy eye. It's like little bits of fluff that must have had some sort of fluff in it because when I'm moving about there's like little bits of fluff floating everywhere. Yeah, this what this particular thing was is cruelty free, it's not tested in animals, and I love the smell of baby soap. Like really, really, really love the smell of baby soap. So we'll be using that in the shower. This I picked up from Peacocks again. I don't know, I'm not really sure why that's in here. Like nude coloured, oh that would go nice with that blazer. Nude coloured, sort of sheedy, what do you call that? There's a word, there's a word for that. chiffon -y, like chiffon bobble, and here little silky bobble with sort of paisley pattern type thing all over it there. They were reduced from two pound to one pound. And this, oh this I picked up in the little gift shop in the, like the little farm shop gift shop. And it's just a nice pen like this. It's not showing up well on camera at all. I'm sure the gold is glaring. It's just this pink, like a deep kind of pink and gold pen and I thought that would be nice to keep in my handbag. So I picked that up and it doesn't have the price on it but I'm sure this is pretty cheap. I think it was like £2.25 for, but for one of those little shops. Those shops are usually pretty dear so I thought that was pretty good. Oh, this I picked up. Remember I said I like rainbows and clouds? Well, this has both on it. It doesn't have the clouds with the faces but it does have the see the light is glaring hold on we'll see there we go it says unicorn fan club i'm not like a big huge fan of unicorns or anything but i do just like the rainbow that's pretty much why i got it and it's just one of those little compact mirror things and the price is not on it but i do remember that this was two pounds so pick that up last thing i got is this it's in this little gift box it came from the garden center place and i told you i didn't like everything's pretty much from like the same few shops because i really didn't get out very much this is my last thing like I said, picked this up from the little garden centre thing. This was 19 99 which is kind of pricey for what it is, but those shops are dear. I really, really like this and I like this kind of thing, but I was really upset to find out it's got like gem. I'll show you. We'll just show you. This is from the brand Something Special. Like I said, it was, no, it's from the brand Brandwell and it's called Something Special by Moon. I don't know. One, I don't know what one of those names I just said was the brand, but... That's what it says on it anyway. This smells really nice. I don't think this is suede or anything, but it's like a suede type effect. I don't know that it would be real suede. This is the thing I was really annoyed about. It's still got all like the little, you know, like paper wrappers and stuff on it. This is like a little phone pouch thing. So this in here, your phone goes in here. It's got these little rhinestones all over it. I really like this sort of taupey, is it a taupey color? Yeah, like a sort of really dark taupey color like this. I really like this, but I don't know if you can see it there. There are, I think there's two, two of these little rhinestone things missing here from the side. And I know you probably can't notice it or what, but these things annoy me. Like that really annoys me. To spend £20 on something like that, you want it to be usable. I've not had that out of the box. And I'm thinking that they must have been missing from the beginning because as soon as I took it out of the box, I noticed it. So the first thing I did was obviously check the box to see if they'd come out and they hadn't. So I must have bought it like this. So I obviously didn't check it enough but I was kind of hobbling about in pain so but yeah so annoyed but got this little pouch here it's still got all the like stuff in and all that stuff in it so you put your phone in here like that on the back it's got a little zip pouch from the back it looks like a little purse it's got a little zip pouch thing here for your coins it's got a little leopard print inside 
let me see it's got a little wrist strap like that i thought this would be good for if you had to like run to the shops or run to the supermarket or whatever and you don't want to carry like a big bag or whatever but you can just put this on your wrist you can still like do your, your shopping go about look at stuff you know your hands are sort of free but you've got your phone and your purse and whatever your cards and stuff in it as well and i think it's got space for cards if i remember rightly it does so in here you've got your space for your like notes and stuff and then in here you've got all your space for your cards and a little picture here like that i really really like it but yeah this has just really annoyed me i don't know if i'll be able to buy these gemstones in this exact size i know like the pound shop and stuff sometimes sells these wee things but i don't know if i'll be able to get them in this exact size but what i was thinking of doing i don't know if it's going to show the glue if i do it but just taking away this row of gemstones and then that way you won't notice that these two are missing it's too far away to like drive back to because you know we're on holiday so it's not like i can go and replace it or take it back or whatever so i'll need to figure out some sort of solutions because i do want to use it so <sighs> take a breath that's me done let me see where are we i don't know how many minutes we're at too many probably anyway thank you so much for watching and i'm so 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 sorry that it was so long and i do plan on having several videos up for you very very soon to make up for it and i will not oh, touch wood touch wood there will be no incidents when i'm having to leave you for that long again and I, like i said i'll have a little halloween video up for you on halloween so i'll see you guys really soon thank you so much for watching bye